everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I happen to be up to is what you're gonna see right here. Today, we are at the Liberty Science Center, and it's also the first weekend of the month, which means that it's a Bank of America Museums on Us Day. So it's free if you have a Bank of America card of any sort. So we are going to take advantage of that Bank of America program and go to the museum. Hi. Look at these steps. They have Sue on them. They have a dinosaur. Look, we found this thing up there that all these kids are climbing in. That's like hovering in the sky. Look at that. We found this thing with all these trumpets and, and we pump this thing and oh, let's see what happens. We're gonna take this. the wild about animals section and right away we found some tortoises and they're pretty active hello tortoises there's some more of them those ones are less active hey there where are you going are you teaching us how slow and steady wins the race? Oh, you want to be a superstar. You could be a superstar. Yes, yes. This guy right here is a frilled lizard. See, he has like behind his head that, that little frill that if he's agitated would pop up. So I don't want him to be agitated. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Oh, you're shedding. Look at his chin. He, he has some shedding on his chin going on. Look, we found this puffer fish. Hello, puffer fish. Oh, you're looking at me. Yeah, where are you going? Oh, look. There's two of you. Good, I'm glad you're, you have company. Excellent. So behind me here is this beautiful chameleon, but there's like this scrim on the tank, so it's not, so he's not showing up on the, on the video. But he is beautiful, he blends in so well. So he has like a lot of different colors on him. I thought, you know, like when they change color, it would be more like monotone, but he's picked up like reds and yellows and greens. So he really blends in well. He's gorgeous. Hey there, Piranha. How you doing today? You doing good? Yep. You're doing fish things. I always love how the piranha have these like gold flecks on them. Uh -huh. They glitter, they shimmer. Piranha are quite shimmery fish. This this exhibit has marins and they're right they're right here. Hello. What? Where where's he going? They're on the move. Hey there, Marin. Hey. They're so adorable. This guy's showing me his butt. You're showing off your butt. Oh, hello. web that that was spun look at that and of course they have a snake so yeah conquering fears one snake at a time i guess i guess let's do it let's let's conquer snake fear again okay. He's moving. He's
he's the, he knows I'm here. He knows I'm here. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Snake. Thank you for helping me get over my fears. I'm gonna slowly back away. Back and away. Back and away. Okay. Okay. We did it. This exhibit is full of moles. And in this tub is a whole nest of them. But it says they, they form these cuddle puddles to regulate their temperature. So in this tank is a tarantula. And at first glance, I was like, where is this guy? He is right here. It says this is a light button. So there he is. Look at him. Hello. Hello in there. Apparently, this is Mickey, the green winged macaw. He's, he's, he's born in 1981. He's a 40 year old parrot. Look at him. What you doing, Mickey? Like the song, like, hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. I guess you like that song, huh? But yeah, it's about me. Where are you going? Oh, we got some seeds over here. Oh, yeah, it's lunchtime. Look, look at that mix you got. You got a delicious looking mix going on. And here we have the wild green nope nope. There's another nope nope. Why are there so many nope nopes in this place? Think it's soapy water and here's that that climbing structure we saw earlier but now i'm on the the same level as it but look look at this this is like very adventurous to go climbing in there very cool snowscape you can enjoy liberty science center snow day every day what does that mean what does that mean entrance oh there, there's snow trees Oh, oh, look at it. Wait, are, are they in socks? So I try to be careful not to film people's kids while I'm doing these videos, but it looks like what's going on in here is there is an, not an ice skating rink, but a sock skating rink. So kids can go shoeless with their socks on and skate around. There's like a slick service. It's pretty cool. We are now entering Microbes Rule. Let's find out why. Oh, there's a mammoth. What is going? What does that have to do with a microbe? Well, there's microbes up there. Let's go learn about them. Okay, this is painting with microbes. So pick a stamp or brush. Okay. Let's pick a star. And we, we sterilize it. Okay. Sterilize it, and, and now we pick a paint. Let's let's go with this red paint. Then draw in a dish of micro food. Okay, we'll, go, we'll make a big heart. Okay, now grow art in incubator. Okay, so we turn the incubator on, and then we set the temperature. Now saying, pick a background color. Let's pick purple. Okay, I guess that's my microbe art. So the microbe art is like a simulation if you were growing microbes in a petri dish, but putting them down in whatever pattern you want so that they could be art. We have this giant woolly mammoth here. Let's see, some fun mammoth facts. Mammoth hair could grow three feet in length. Oh my gosh.
They were about the same size as a modern elephant. So over here, we have a whole hallway of pollinators. Look at all these pollinators of all different variety. Oh wow, that's a beautiful picture. Look at that pollinator. Wow. Oh look, you can see you can see all the little pollen bits. Look at them. I love pollinators. They're so important. Wow, so there's a way that they study bees where they put these teeny little trackers on the bees. And here's a blown up image of it. And they study the bee movements within the hive and, and out of the hive and they learn about bee behavior. Interesting. This is really, really cool. There's an actual beehive right here. It has like real bees, real honey. There's a beehive and they're, they're hard at work. Outside, so they can go and get the pollen that they need. You see them going? So there's a mural made out of Rubik's cubes, and if we back up, it's a picture of Dr. Fauci. Look at that, out of Rubik's cubes. T-Rex challenge. Test your Tyrannosaur IQ. Okay, let's let's give it a try. Let, let's do the quiz. Okay, first question. T-Rex closest living relative is a chicken. I say yes. Ah, it's a dinosaur. It's true. It is true. Closest living relative is in fact a chicken. Buckle up, buckle up. Close us. Next one. T Rex roared. I'm going to say false because, like, a lion roars, but a chicken clucks. So I'm going to say false. Ah, I was correct. I was correct. It says they made a low rumbling sound, like an alligator. But they did not clock. They did not say they clocked. Okay. Next up. A lot of T-Rex's enormous head was hollow. What do we think? Was the T-Rex head hollow? Oh. Um, I mean, it would be very heavy to, if it was full and dense. So maybe it was hollow. We'll say true. Ah, yep. Look, true. True. And there's a golden dinosaur to confirm. Okay. Next one. A T Rex would have eaten about 200 stegosauruses during its lifetime. I mean, that's a lot of stegosauruses, but maybe? Maybe. We'll, we'll say true. False. They never met. They were from different errors. One was Jurassic and one was Cretaceous. My bad. My bad. But I think it was a trick question. I think they were trying to get us on quantity and not time. Okay, next. A teen T-Rex grew really fast. I'm going to guess false. I'm going to guess they grew younger than teen so that they could survive. Let's see. True. True. They say five pounds a day in their teens. That's, that's pretty quick. I don't want to gain five pounds a day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Last one. T-Rex could have crushed the car with its mouth. 
Um, well, an alligator has some pretty good crushing power. I'm gonna say true. I'm gonna say true. And true it is. They had the crushing power. Look at that. Cool. He found a light bright. He found a light bright. So it's off until you turn it. And the more you turn it, that changes It changes the color. color. To whatever you want the color to be. So instead of pegs, you just keep turning it. And you make pictures. Look at this. By turning it. Yeah, I could play with this all day long. There we go, it's T-Rex green. I did it. Energy quest. We're gonna learn about energy. This is teaching us about plasma and it's the fourth state of matter, right? It's not liquid, it's not solid, it's not gas. So Roy's gonna turn that crank and he's making the plasma view. Look at that. is teaching us about radioactivity and they have a display set up with a, a Geiger meter. So glow in the dark toys are not radioactive but apparently old uh, cups and things were. Granite count countertop is slightly radioactive. Oh, oh you hear it going? You hear it? Radium painted clock. This clock was painted with a radioactive material and the old-fashioned fiesta wear highly highly radioactive same thing with this granite rock but the glow toy not so much there's an exhibit about things that are local to this area of New Jersey called our Hudson Hole. And there are these giant fish. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Look, he's bigger than my head. And they live locally. A big part of my job here is feeding all the fish that we have. Uh, that includes making sure they have the right stuff. section here about the wetlands and a huge tank that's set up as an example of the wetlands. Let's look at these fish. And then it's showing that there is a bird who would very much like to nibble on some of those fish. He is hunting the fish. But the fish are in no danger, for the bird is not real, even though the fish are real. This tank are some striped bass. It's right there. Let's go around the side. I'll we'll keep looking at this striped bass. Look at him. stepped outside these doors and there is just this spectacular view of the skyline. Look at that. If we keep going, you can even see the Statue of Liberty. Can you see her over there? Miss Lady Liberty. And we go back this way. And that's the World Trade Center right there. So what a fun day we had here at the Liberty Science Center. So we did just the basic general admission. If you wanted to pay an additional fee, you can go and see Sue, which is the T-Rex exhibit, or the planetarium has about four different shows that they're offering. So each of those were all an additional $8, but if you did the Bank of America Museums on us, the general admission is what's included. 
So we, we got to walk around. There were a whole bunch of different exhibits that we saw, uh, a lot of different animals. I, I think the animals were my favorite. I, I had a lot of fun with them. And we learned about energy. And there's this section of the museum where it's all local to the Hudson. So you could see, you know, different animals and different um, issues that are local to the area. And there was also some stuff that was great for kids. Um, I was a little too big for a few of them. The indoor sock skating looked like so much fun. I wish it was like they had an adult version of it. I would have loved to have done that. Basically, you just take your shoes off and it's slippery on the socks and you just like slide around like as if you're ice skating, but in, in your socks. And then they had this big aerial climbing net thing that looked like a lot of fun. I'm, again, I'm, I'm a little big for that, but I, I wish there was an adult sized version of it because I would have loved to have done that. But yeah, I mean, there were just all these great things and animals and learning opportunities. So overall, I had a great day. So with that, I am done. I'm going to go get some rest and I will see everybody tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.